Okay, today we are going to look at CC1 2.1.1. We're officially in chapter 2 for problem 2.6. For the problem below, create one of the following to display the data, a dot plot, a bar graph, or a Venn diagram, and then we need to uh, decide which type of data display is best and explain why. So, we have appliances sold at House Mart during the month of September. We have washers, dryers, ovens, refrigerators, and dishwashers. Because my data is categorical, meaning I have all these categories, I want to create either a bar graph or a Venn diagram. However, there's no overlapping data, which is why I would want a Venn diagram. So, because I don't have overlapping data, I want to create a bar graph. So, I'm going to create a bar graph. So, I have washers, dryers, ovens, refrigerators, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, sim uh, shorten that, and then dishwashers. Okay, so everyone here, I'm going to have 10, 20, 30, 40, and I'm doing that because all my numbers are, are fairly high. And then I know like 15's there, 25's there, and 45's there. I have 35 washers, so I'm going to go up to 35. Dryers, I have 21, so I'm gonna go up to 20, go a little bit over. My ovens, I have 19, it's a little bit under. Refrigerators, I have 27, so 25, 26, 27. What I'm doing is I'm kind of imagining that I'm drawing this line all the way across um, so that I know what height to put it in. Dishwashers, I have 23, which would be about here. So I draw this imaginary line. This wouldn't actually be on your paper. I would just follow that with my pencil. Okay. So, for my explanation, a bar graph because my data is categorical and there is no overlapping information or data. My data does not overlap. I'm not um, overlapping it. Okay, problem seven. Elizabeth wants to challenge you to a tiles and toothpicks and tiles game. Using exactly six tiles, solve her challenges below. Justify your answers with pictures and labels. Okay, the first one, we have to have more than double the number of tiles and I have to have six tiles. So, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna try this. So I have six tiles. Double would be 12. So it has to be more than double. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, that one works. I have six tiles, 12 toothpicks. Find a pattern where the number of toothpicks is four more than the number of tiles. So if I have six tiles, four more, I need 10 toothpicks. I could I know that the one above wouldn't work, 
I could try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one won't work. Okay. That's six, six tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one works. I have six tiles, ten toothpicks. Okay, moving down. Problem eight. On a hot summer day, Leo and Stefano decided to buy some refreshments at the fruit and smoothies store. Fruit kebabs cost $1.75 and smoothies cost $2.50 each. So Leo ordered two fruit kebabs. So I'm going to write down how much each one costs. And one smoothie. We want to know how much he spent, so we have to add them together. So starting in my ones column, 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry my 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, he spent $6, okay, Stefano ordered three fruit kebabs and four smoothies, so three fruit kebabs, and four smoothies. I'm going to I'm going to do these in two separate addition problems. So 5 10 15 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. 2 3 4 5. So he spent 525 on his fruit kebabs. I'm going to do it this way. I know that if I add these together Okay, that's two, and then I double it. So zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is 10. Carry my one. Bring my decimal point down. Two plus two is four plus one is five. He did that twice, so he spent $10 on his um, fruit cups. And 525 on his, um, or no, he spent $10 on his smoothies and $5.25 on fruit kebabs. We want the total. So $5.25 plus $10. Five plus zero is five, two plus zero is two. Bring down my decimal, five and a one. He spent $15.25. For part C, I'm gonna let you work with that because we, um, we know that Arturo has $9 that he can spend. He knows that he wants at least one of each. So one combination he could do would be what Leo did and do two fruit kebabs and one smoothie. That's one way. We need to show at least three possibilities. I'm going to let you guys come up with numbers two and three. For problem nine, Lulu is playing the toothpicks and tiles from lesson 1.1.2. She arranged 10 tiles and she wants to rearrange them so that the number of toothpicks remains the same. We need to draw one possible arrangement of the tiles. So, we have to figure out the number of toothpicks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I need to rearrange them. Three, four, five. I'm going to try rearranging it like this. I don't know if it's going to work. It's trial and error. But I know I need 
22 toothpicks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This happened to work. So if you had one that didn't work, don't erase it. Just do what we did for part B of problem seven. Oh, that didn't work, so I tried a new one. You don't have to erase it. For problem 10, this should be the first time we're seeing this picture. You are not allowed to use a calculator for any of these. So the first problem we're subtracting I want to make sure that I am lining up my decimals, okay? And if I have a problem like this where my decimal, I have fewer decimals on the second one, I'm going to use a zero to fill it in, okay? And then I subtract. Nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus seven is two. One minus six, I can't do that, so I have to borrow a 10 from there. So 11 minus six is five. Two minus seven, I have to borrow. 12 minus seven is five. Four minus two is two. This is my answer. For part B, I'm adding. I'm making sure to line up my decimals. If I have extras, I fill in with zeros so I don't get confused. Zero plus two is two. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus two is 11. Carry my one, I drop my decimal down. Five plus one is six. Six plus six is 12. Five plus five is 10 plus one is 11. One plus one is two. Part C, I'm subtracting again. I'm always lining up my decimal points. Seven minus eight, I can't do that. I have to borrow a 10. 17 minus eight is nine. I have to borrow. 10 minus one is nine. Five minus five is zero. Drop my decimal point down. Three minus six, I have to borrow. 13 minus 6 is 7, and 7 minus 3 is 4. As always, if you need any help, please.